guys, Luke Bowles here. Welcome to Battle 5, a series where I break down my top 5 list on a particular topic, no matter what topic that comes to my mind. For this Battle 5 video, I'm going to be breaking down my list for top 5 NFL teams after week 7, uh, the 7th week in this NFL season. Number 5 on the list, let's get right to it, the Baltimore Ravens. Why? Because they showed up and showed out big time against the high-powered uh, Seattle Seahawks offense. Lamar Jackson totally 259 yards in one touchdown rush. The brother was impressive, and their defense played lights out against Russell Wilson's offense, holding them under 20 points and, and giving Russell Wilson his first interception of the season, not to mention pick six. Uh, I like what I'm seeing from the Baltimore Ravens. They are a team that are not to be slept on as a playoff contender. Number four on the list, the San Francisco 49ers, the undefeated San Francisco 49ers. They dropped down for, uh, by two uh, spots from number two last week to number four this week. Why? Because they had an ugly win last Sunday. It wasn't just about their offense not scoring a single touchdown uh, in this game. It wasn't just about the Washington Redskins being so horrid, and it wasn't just about uh, the final score of that game being under 10 points uh, by both teams. It was also about the weather at that game. It was nasty. Uh, it was absolutely uh, like ugly, <laughs> to say the least. It wasn't a really good win by the 49ers, but they're, de they're undefeated. Their defense is elite. Quan Alexander is no joke. And Nick Bosa is creeping his way to being part of the uh, discussion for NFL Rookie of the Year. Number three on the list, the New Orleans Saints. Why? Because they won five straight games uh, without Drew Brees. Because they exposed the Chicago Bears defense at Soldier Field. And because Teddy Bridgewater outplayed Mitchell Trubisky. And oh, by the way, Alvin Kamara goes down. It didn't matter. Latavius Murray, 27 carries, 119 rushing yards, two touchdowns. The brother, uh, this guy played resoundingly. And Michael Thomas, Lord have mercy, he's special. Number two on the list, the Green Bay Packers. Why? Because of Aaron Rodgers, that bad man that he is. 25 of 31, 429 passing yards, six total touchdowns, zero interceptions, and became the first Green Bay Packers quarterback ever to finish a game with a perfect passer rating, which is 158.3. Um, uh, their running game is a bit questionable. Their defense, most at most points in the season, are improving, but not great. But Aaron Rodgers is a bad brother. He is a special kind of somebody. Number one on the list, the New England Patriots, the undefeated Patriots. Why? Because they're undefeated, they are the Patriots. They've beaten a New York Jets team that were no threat to them whatsoever. Tom Brady chilling in the pocket like he's laying down in the sun on the beach. Uh, their running game is decent. Their receiving core wasn't anything, to, wasn't everything to write home about, but their defense is rad. Uh, their defense is lit. Uh, it is, they're playing tremendous defensive football. Um, and they are a tremendous defense, basically. And those are the top five NFL teams after week seven, according to your boy, Logan Bowles. Listen to him when he's talking to you and pay attention to what he's breaking down for you. And <laughs> so what are your top five teams after week seven? Uh, comment below and let me know what you think. I'm curious to know what they are. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it that like button to click. And if you'd like to see future videos from me, make sure to press up there to subscribe. And don't forget to turn on that bell icon so that you'll get notified about my latest videos. Have a great day, and as always, fight the good fight.